Ukraine's military released this video purporting to show the first day of its incursion into the Kursk region of Russia along its border. It said these men were Russian soldiers waving a white flag of surrender. Eleven days after the start of Ukraine's surprise attack on Russian territory, President Volodymyr Zelensky received a briefing on the operation from Army Chief Alexander Sirsky. In some directions, we have advanced one to three kilometers toward the enemy. The fighting is ongoing along the whole front line. In general, the situation is under control. Everything is carried out following the plan. Sirsky said he discussed the battlefield situation with the chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff as well. Ukraine said the incursion was needed to force Russia, which sent its forces into Ukraine in 2022, to start fair peace talks. An influential aide to Russian President Vladimir Putin said that the West and the U.S.-led NATO alliance had helped to plan Ukraine's surprise attack. Washington has denied this. Meanwhile, Putin chaired a meeting of Russia's Security Council and said the discussion would focus on new technical solutions being employed in the military operation. Russia also released footage, it said, showed the destruction of a rocket launcher in Ukraine moments after it was used in the attack on the Kursk region. Ukraine's interior minister said it has set up storage facilities on its border to hold and send humanitarian aid to Russian civilians in the territory it occupies. Kiev officials have said they plan to create evacuation corridors from the Kursk region and to open access to international humanitarian missions. Russia's state-run TASS news agency reported Ukrainian forces destroyed a bridge there, hindering civilian evacuations by land.